Hey guys, and welcome to today's lower body workout. It is 20 minutes long, 2044. Um, so 44 seconds over what I said I was gonna limit for all of December around Christmas because we're busy, but it's worth it. These 44 extra seconds that legs are gonna feel it. So <laughs> here we go. I'm gonna show you each exercise and we'll get started. First thing is a split squat. So hips are still square and we're going up and down, driving to that front leg. Keep the weight up. <laughs> After that, we're going into a curtsy right here. Going back and behind, let me face you so you can tell what it looks like that way. Just like that. You can use one heavy weight or two weights for all of these. After that, we're gonna do a split deadlift. So hips shoot back, weight is all in that one leg. The other leg's just there for balance. Right there. Then we are going to go into crescent chair. Now this one, we are alternating sides. So we're gonna get down, stepping back, stepping back. So we are going to do three rounds of that before we go into this little burnout that I'm gonna show you now. I wanna see two rounds of this. <laughs> it's gonna be skaters. I'm gonna to have to move his toys maybe. And then drop lunges. And I will show you low impact modifications when we get there. So, everybody ready? Grab your dumbbell or dumbbells, doesn't matter. And we're gonna get started. So we're gonna go into that split squat first. Here we go, start right here. So really sit back if you wanna feel it in the glutes. If you're feeling like working quads more, just don't sit back as much. You can change the emphasis of this little exercise right here by tweaking your form. I'm always in for a little glute work, <laughs> so I like to really sit back with it. What you wanna keep in mind is even when you're sitting back, your knee is not pulling behind the ankle, and you're holding that weight however it's comfortable, pressing through that front leg, breathing, two, one. All right, and we are resting for 10 gloriously short seconds, and then we're switching sides. So three, two, one, and go. Still pressing through that front leg. Foot is firmly planted on the ground. Um, you want to keep in mind with your foot, um, if my hand is my foot, <laughs> a lot of times I personally like to kind of lift one side up. And that changes the pressure. Ooh, I'm having a hard time balancing while I'm talking about this. <laughs> it changes how the movement affects your body up your body, up the kinetic chain. So it can kind of tweak your knees and things like that. So make sure the weight is well distributed through that foot and rest. We're going into curtsies next. So just make sure you're kind of not doing this thing. <laughs> Two, one, and curtsy right here. So that knee, and we're doing all on one side. Your knee is not doing this. If you want to look real quick, we're not doing this for the curtsy. We are firmly planting that foot, pressing through it to drive us up. My legs are already feeling this. I love it. <laughs> and we are going to curtsy. Sitting back, stepping out back and across our body for five, two, rest. All right, we're going to the other side. I'm always worried about stepping on his stuff, <laughs> twisting my ankle, falling and rolling. <laughs> and other side, go. Right here, long to the torso. Pretend to someone, if you can see where my bun is, is pulling you tall. Whoop, <laughs> through this movement. Chin is nice and tucked. You don't want to be doing this. Throws off <laughs> your lovely, lovely posture. So stay nice and tall. And keep breathing. Keep that beautiful form. We've got five, three, two, and rest. All right, guys, switch that grip because we're going to that deadlift. If you have the range of motion, you can start it on the ground. You do not have to. And go. So remember with the deadlift, hips shoot back and knees 
finish the movement. We are not, you can hold two hands as well. The movement is, whoo, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Mostly done with the hips. So back, 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 hips, knees start to bend. Right here, I'm gonna hold my weight like this. You can do that with two or one dumbbells. <laughs> one or two dumbbells. <laughs> and three, two, one. All right, now we're gonna talk about how we wanna use our glutes in this exercise. <laughs> so we're gonna start in five, three, two, and one. All right, so again, one leg is doing all the pressing up, length to the torso, really feel that glute fire. If you have trouble getting the glute to fire, take a moment, connect the glute, and press up. Really squeeze that glute to fire. Don't leave it to chance that your glute is gonna work here. <laughs> Make that mind-muscle connection. Having good form will help. Keeping a solid connection to the ground will help because you can press through the ground. Length to the torso. Tuck chin and rest. Beautiful job, guys. You're doing amazing. We're almost to that first round. So grab that weight. We're doing crescent chair next. And go. So drop low and step back. With all of these, do a range of motion that works for you. You don't have to go to the ground here just because I'm going to the ground here. I have obviously done these <laughs> and worked on my range of motion a lot <laughs> over many reps. So remember, if you're just starting or you're just not there yet, it's okay. Just be where you are and slowly work on it and rest. All right, so we're going back to the top here with that split squat that I love so much. <laughs> Three, two, split your legs and go. So hips are still square here. Whew. Foot is, front foot is doing most of the work. Whew. Every time I look at you, I lose my balance. Long to the torso. Body is active in this movement. <laughs> A lot of times, if we're focusing on the legs or whatever muscle we're focusing on, we'll just let the rest of the body kind of do whatever <laughs> and rest. But we want to be mindful in all exercises of what our body is doing. Three, two, one, other side. I believe I forgot to tell you to rest there. <laughs> And I apologize for that. Again, if you have two dumbbells, you can be holding these by your side. You can hold them however works for you. Whatever gets it done for you in this workout. Whew. We've got seven. Five, that was an odd number to count down on. Two, one, and rest. All right, we're going to that curtsy next. I don't know why I keep putting the dumbbell down. Three, two, one, curtsy. Right here, I'll show you from the side. Right here. So it doesn't have to be this crazy big step right here. Ah. You keep your range of motion small or whatever your body allows for. You just do it, do it. Sink that weight back and down. Back and down. Five seconds. Three. And rest. Gosh, you're that tired. Rest. <laughs> ah, all right. We'll start the next in three, two, one, other side, go. I have enough room back there. <laughs> Keep 
Keep going. Stay with me. If this is not challenging, you probably need a heavier weight. Whew. But, saying that, speed and weight always come secondary to form. Form should be wonderful before we start picking up speed. We're challenging with the weight rest. We're doing that split deadlift next. So always remember, work on that form. Speed is secondary. And rep, go. <laughs> go, go, go. So we're, that hip is going back and then we're sinking down. Torso is still long. Chin is still tucked. And the torso is going to face the floor more than in a squat here. We are trying to be more upright when we squat. And our body can become more parallel to the ground almost <laughs> when we deadlift. Three, two, and rest. All right, we're going to that other side. And we will be doing that in three, two, and go. Right here. Shoots back and sink down. We don't want rounding <laughs> or huge dipping of that low back. That is part of what length helps with, keeping the length through that torso reminds us not to start hunching and crunching. <laughs> Lats are engaged here. Whew, keep it up. Four. Two, one, rest. All right, we're going to that crescent chair next. In three, two, one, let's crescent chair. Right here, I'm going to face you this time. <laughs> with the lunges, you do not have to try and get those legs in line with each other. You can keep them nice and separate so you have balance. Keep moving, keep working through this interval. You're doing amazing. Rest through that foot, front foot to come up. We've got three, two, and rest. All right, split squats are next. Whew. And we'll start them in four, three, two, and go. Down, 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 whoop, shoot up. Keep going. If you start to get tired, really slow down and focus on form. <laughs> I cannot emphasize enough how important form is. <laughs> when we forget it, it is not good for the long run. We end up with injuries, little aches and pains. And form helps us to also get the most out of that workout. We're working the muscle we want to be working. And rest. Whew. And we'll start the other side in three, two, one. Right here. Don't forget your breath. Whew. I look forward to you this time. <laughs> Your breath is an important part of the equation in all exercises, all the time. It is much tougher for me to integrate that correctly when talking the whole workout. But we are nice deep inhale, exhale, engage, and rest. All right, we are going to the curtsies. So I should not come all the way down. So three, two, one, let's curtsy. Right here, whoop. Good 
Great job, guys. So when I say nice deep inhale, I'm talking about an optimal <laughs> diaphragmatic 360 breath here. We're not breathing up into our chest and shoulders. We're trying to breathe down into the back, belly and ribs. going. Five, three, and rest. All right, we're going to the other side. Whew. I'm sweaty. <laughs> we'll go there in three, two, one, go. Right here. Last time for these. Stay strong. Stay with me. Not specifically, you know, <laughs> rep for rep, but keep moving with me. Keep working with me. I know you can. You have crushed this so far. And I know you're gonna keep crushing it. You're gonna finish strong. We got three, two, one. All right, we're going to that deadlift next. Remember, hips shoot back and sink down. And go. Whoop. So, shoot back and down. Drive to that glute. Make that intentional connection with that glute. Right here. Make it work like it should. We've got 10. Feel the glute work. <laughs> the more you try to intentionally connect with it, the better you're going to connect <laughs> and rest. I promise, promise, promise. You can run through an exercise and then be intentional through an exercise. Hold on, <laughs> go. And it makes a massive difference in how you feel, in how hard it is, and in how those muscles that you are attempting to engage actually work. Keep going, guys. Press up. Drive to that glute. When I'm seeing pressing, obviously, I'm <laughs> meaning press to the leg. We've got five. Rest. Beautiful job. We're going to that crescent chair. And then all we've got is those quick burnouts. And go. Down for crescent chair. Right here. Right here. You got this. Now, when we go to the burnout in 20 seconds, <laughs> I'm going to show just a rep or two of the normal exercise and then I'm going to show the low impact for a few reps. So just watch out for that, whichever one you're looking for. We got five, three, rest. All right, we're done with the weights today. I believe, yep. And we've got skaters ready. Jumping right here. You're driving, getting that length. If you are not jumping, you are stepping wide step and sinking down. Same thing. You're either hopping laterally or you are stepping. Whatever you want to do, Ooh. you are trying not to kick Noah's toys. We got 10 seconds. Five, three, two, rest. All right, it's legging. All right, we've got drop lunges next. Hopping version. Feet together, split them. Back together, split them. If you are stepping, we're just going to step back and up, back 
and up. Right here, make sure you are driving up to that front leg, even if you're not jumping here, all right? So split. When you're hopping, you're pressing through both legs. If you're stepping, you're really driving to that front leg. We've got three, two, rest. All right, we're gonna go through each of those once more and then you are done. You've done amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Remind yourself that. Go, skaters. Ooh. Right here. Ooh, that wagon can't slow me down this time. <laughs> All right. And remember, whatever modification works for you is the one you need to use. Not what I'm doing just because I'm doing it or anyone else. Just keep moving. 10 seconds. Breathing. Five. Three. Two. Rest. Woo. All right, but not rest for long because we're going to drop lunges. Three. Two. Go, go, go. Right here. Woo. Remember, you can also step. Let's still drive to that front foot. Whew. Oh man, this one's rough. Last one. Whew. Stay strong, 15 seconds. This isn't 15, but that's okay. 10. Keep it up. You're done, you're done, you're done. You crushed that. Be proud. I'm proud of you. You did amazing. You put the work in, and you're here, and you're working towards your goals. You're, whew, I'm out of breath. Doing amazing things. That is it. You are here, you're doing amazing things. I'm grateful that you chose my workout to use today, and I hope you enjoy it, and you'll share it with a friend that would enjoy it too. Um, yeah. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought and what you'd like to see.